Hey, Tyler here from Cart Collectors. I'm about to head out um, about, I don't know, 60 to 90 minutes, somewhere in between there, uh, to meet up with a guy I'm about a, uh, some Super Nintendo stuff. Uh, there's uh, Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, which is like a 40 to $50 game, sometimes more. Um, and then Super Mario World, uh, the SNES, uh, controller and the cables, the SNES, uh, I guess the fuse doesn't work, but uh, I'm gonna get it for $15 the whole thing, so <laughs> just Mario RPG more than makes up for it if it does indeed work. He said he wasn't sure because he obviously can't test it with the broken SNES, but it should be a good adventure. It's a game I've wanted for a long time, uh, so hopefully I can get it. So uh, I'll update you as it happens. See ya. Hey, so I just picked up the SNES and the games and stuff. Uh, hopefully they work, because he said he wasn't able to test them because uh, the fuse or something's gone on the SNES. But um, Super Mario World, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, that's that's always good. And then uh, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, condition, average. Um, it's got some writing on it. Uh, you can see there's a little nick missing out of Princess Peach's face. Um, there's the SNES and stuff. Um, now I'm gonna start heading on my way home, but I'm gonna stop by a town that has a, a thrift store and I'm gonna see if, I'm probably gonna swing by there. So uh, I'll see you guys then. All right, bye. So before I go to the thrift store, I forgot about a retail store I like to go to. So I'm gonna skip in and usually they just have NBA course side, but you never know, I've, I've found Bomberman 64 and stuff like that there before, so hopefully I have some luck. I'll, uh, I'll let you know if I find anything. Bye. So, the retail store had a ton of games, but like I stated, they were all sports, all court, NBA core side, all um, quarterback club. Um, and I checked every single title, but now I'm going to try one thrift store, and then I got another one. And uh, hopefully the luck changes a little bit. All right, so I'm at the thrift store. Um, there's really not anything unless you count out-of-date um, joysticks for computers um, or some out-of-date, um, well, I guess it's not that out-of-date, uh, steering wheel and pedals for the computer for $15. Um, other than that, there's nothing game-related. They do have some VHS tapes. I like VHS tapes, so that's good. Um, and, oh, that's a nice power strip. So I'm gonna check the, the CD shelf to see if they have anything. All right, so same stuff they always have. Uh, Madden Football 92. NFL Club. Another football. Um, prime time in the box for four bucks. Quarterback Club 96 for four bucks, and then, ooh, almost dropped it, um, Team Rocket, or Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue for, um, for two bucks, but I think I already own it, so I don't want it, so that's it, so on to the next thrift store. So you just saw me in the first thrift store, really wasn't anything to speak of, um, I'm trying the second thrift store now. We'll see what's up, uh, and we might make a couple more stops, but one thing, the one good thing about today, though, minus Mario RPG, has been, um, traffic's been great. The lights and the other cars, barely had to wait at all at any lights or any in, or in and out of places, and it's just really rare, so that's good. But, uh, hopefully I'll find something in here at this thrift store.
So the third thrift store I stopped at, I didn't realize was closed on Sundays. But I took a picture of their business hours, and now I'm going <clears> to <throat> try to go to a retail store that I've been to once before and had a bad experience, but I'm going to try it again. I'm They might be closed too because it's Sunday, but uh, I'm only a mile or so away, so I might as well try it. So uh, I'll let you know. Hey, so I just got done in a retail store. Um, bad experience last time there. This time, um, pretty solid. Um, I bought Ninja Gaiden 1. Um, it's, I believe it's going for about $6 right now. Um, I paid $7 for it. So, you know, for a title like Ninja Gaiden, you can... It's not the end of the world when you pay a dollar more than it's worth. Um... And then this one I bought Castle Quest because it's complete in box and the box is in just amazing shape. So um, it's got the manual, it's got the dust cover, it's got the styrofoam insert. Uh, this game loose is worth like two bucks, but I paid uh, eight dollars for it complete in box. So, you know. I'm content with that. I mean, I, I I love complete in box stuff and just the condition that it's in is really nice. I I didn't even own a loose cartridge of it yet, so <laughs> I mean I, I I don't mind paying eight dollars for that. Um, plus it's it's really the only thing I bought today other than Mario RPG, so I, I wanted to go home with something else, you know, something more. Uh, so now it's just the hour plus ride home and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.